Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Super Slash Man. Hey guys, Steve-O here for Movies and TVs on the Ball, and this is a part of our new series on documentary, my dear Watsons. I just reviewed a documentary of the film Super Slash Man, which was a documentary based on the Christopher Reeve story. It shows sort of Christopher Reeve's uh, you can view these on uh, Max, um, where, uh, wherever you can find it. Uh, this documentary shows kind of, kind of Christopher Reeve's life gone from going from the time he was at Juilliard or when he was a boy to the time he was at Juilliard to when he got Superman to his accident and his life is kind of his foundation, the Christopher Reeves Foundation, that deals with people with, uh, with uh, spinal fractures and people with uh, disabilities. Uh, this was a really good doc. I like this documentary because it really showed kind of who the... Um, who kind of Christopher Reeves was... And how he, was, and how he, and how he, how he was, you know, on the silver screen, and how he started out, and how he was just a dad to his uh, three kids. It's a really good do documentary, and I liked how they really, you know, they don't really go too much into him, much as him as in Superman. Um, if you guys know, he showed up in an episode of Smallville as a professor of linguistic, not linguistic, um, professor of Kryptonian. He was a, he played in Smallville like a professor that dealt with Krypton's language and Krypton's history to Clark Kent, played by Tom Welling which was kind of a nice episode because it was sort of passing the torch on. But what I liked about this documentary is it showed him as uh, kind of how he was sort of struggling to kind of break free from being typecast as Superman. So it the documentary showed him doing a lot of different... Um, doing some different different roles in different perspective, different roles. But the documentary really showed more of his relationship with his wife, um, his relationship with his uh, new wife, or his second wife. And, and I noticed that it was a very interesting... Um, documentary that dealt with kind of showing kind of what happened to him after his accident where he fell off a horse riding a horse to him uh, riding a horse to him kind of ex kind of accepting the fact that he will be confined to the wheelchair and his uh, research to go from uh, to kind of find a cure for this and really showing people with disabilities how it how to how to kind of cope and cope back and it was very inspiring for me coming from a guy who has problems with his left hand and I really liked it that it was such a really good documentary and it was really, it was a really lovely documentary, and I give it an 8 out of 10. So check it out if you ever get a chance, and it's on Max, and look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. dun da da, -da. I'm Steve-O, and as always, like and subscribe. If there's any, uh, let me know if you've seen this documentary. If there's anything you would like me to cover, please comment in the comments below, and as always, see you at the movies. Bye.